Welcome to Rust Revival Garage. I'm Tim. Going to do something a little bit different on the channel this time. We're going to go to the Ames Performance Pontiac Nationals in Norwalk, Ohio. It's at the Summit uh, Motorsports Park up there. They've got uh, drag racing. They've got swap meet. They've got a ton of Pontiac cars. Strictly a car show with nothing but Pontiacs. So let's go check it out. And welcome to Norwalk, Ohio. We are walking into the uh, Summit Motorsports Park where they are having the uh, Ames Performance Pontiac Nationals. So basically gonna walk my way into the parking lot, check things out, show you guys around for those of you who couldn't make it to the show. Let's go on in. Great thing about shows like this, it's not just your typical Firebirds and GTOs. It's a good collection of Bonnevilles, Grand Prix, uh, Tempests, just about everything you can think of, they've got it here. Um, I mean, just a great selection. They have some of them grouped, like there's the Tempest group, there's a GTO group. But like this like row here is just a little bit of everything. Here's a really nice Le Mans, 68 just like mine. That looks great, it's got the 350 in it. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the tiger tails. That is just awesome. I mean, look at me. Pontiac Solstice. Not something you're going to see every day. And they're right next to a GTO. <laughs> Just 
Check out this Grand Prix, 1965. This is the boat. Look how long, look how much room there is. It's just in the back seat. That's just amazing. It's even got the little oh shit grab bar up front on the uh, glove box. At least a five body trunk. Some don't consider it to be a GTO, but here's one from I think 2004. Now here's something you don't see every day, a Pontiac Safari pickup truck. That's awesome. In the year 2000. A little bit of everything at this show. I mean, it's just Pontiac, Pontiac, Pontiac. Usually you've got to go to a car show and hunt the mountain. They've got every single one of them here is Pontiac. It's awesome. Here's another great 68 Le Mans. Do you like those wheels? Oh wow, a Pontiac Sunbird. This I believe was the sister of the Chevy Monza. Um, my mom had one of these. I actually learned to drive in this car. A lot of them were the big hatchbacks. This one was the coupe. And I have not seen a Pontiac Sunbird in forever. That is awesome. Not very much room down in there. This one is from 1980. Now, if the badging can be trusted, this is a 71 Firebird with the 455. I love those new Pontiac wheels. So you've got the air conditioning. Love that color. I am a huge fan of this grill. That is a menacing looking badass car. Big old full size Grand Prix. And right next to it, the one and the only, the Judge. It's got the Ram Air 4, again, if the badges can be believed. And I know nobody's going to consider this a classic, but this is a 1990 Pontiac uh, 6000 LE. Again, not something you see every day. Most of these things are trash. They're rusted out or so they've just given up on them. Just occasionally I like to see the stuff that you don't normally see every day anymore. That is just gorgeous. GTO after GTO. Oh, Pontiac Phoenix. Wow, that is amazing. Don't see that all the time. Here's a Le Mans Sport 69, I believe, with the 400 engine. It looks very much like a survivor. That's what some would call the patina. This is a driver. I love it. Wow. 
once again for those of you who like the weird the obscure the stuff you don't see every day this is a 67 pontiac executive look at that front end Look at that green. This is looking like Grand Prix Road. Decades of Grand Prix. All that chrome added at least 30 horsepower. Another great color combo on the Judge. I love that blue with those 70s stripes. Here's a 68 GTO convertible. I love the look on this car. Biggest Pontiac shows in the country. Just such a great selection of Pontiacs everywhere you look. It is just amazing how many are here. There's a 68. Look, I love that color. Actually, it's a 69, but that is a beautiful maroon. That is just gorgeous. I'm a big fan of station wagons and that is beautiful. 1967 Tempest Wagon. That is gorgeous. Look at all that room in there. And it's not just the 60s cars. 70s, 80s, and 90s. Godori in the Jeep 41 Willys. Four hundred twelve. Gotta admit, I don't know a whole lot about these. And the cosmic ray in the scout run. 1948. Oh, let's see that sound in the background.
into the staging lanes. Cop and racing equipment. Six, quick 16. Open and closed body cars. This one might be the oldest one here. 1929. And Butler Performance, Four. We're in the car corral here. This is where they are selling their cars. And uh, just make sure you don't lowball them on this one. He knows what he's got. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Super Duty Savage. And it's starting to rain a little bit. Yep, we got rain. Yeah, let's dive into some Firebirds. Every flavor you can think of. Sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. A little bit of everything. So yeah, it started to rain. I think it might just be passing us by. What can Brown do for you? No, it's all good. There's the uh, Indy Pace car that I used to have. Slow as hell, but it was a nice one. Judges doing some judging. Fifty-six safari wagon. Like I said, I love the wagons. Love, love, love the wagons. That is just beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, 1941.
They've even got the swap meet set up here. You can pretty much shop for just about anything you need. Tigers don't care if they get wet. They'll dry out. They'll dry out. But they do like mustangs. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're tasty. When they're hungry. This is the color I might go with the Lamonts. It was an option back in the day. I just love that green. Okay, so that's our day at the uh, Ames Performance Pontiac Nationals in Norwalk, Ohio. Got a little band of rain, but not too bad. I mean, it was enough to chase a lot of people out. People closed up some of their swap shops and uh, buttoned up their convertibles, but not too crazy, just a little bit of water. So there you have it. Pontiac Nationals done, that was fun. Got to check out some really cool cars. Unfortunately, the rain got a little bit in the way, but uh, it was still fun seeing the drag races, checking out the swap meet, um, seeing all those really, really cool cars. So yeah, and subscribe if you want, because we're gonna be working on this 68 Le Mans. It hasn't started in 23 years, and I just got a new radiator, new fan, fan clutch, and so hopefully we'll, we're gonna be able to get this thing started up for the first time in a long time. And that's going to be coming up on the channel here real soon. Thanks very much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.